Ulster Captain Johan Muller, we're here in the Titanic Centre in Belfast, home ground for you for the launch of the Rabo Direct. Yeah, look, obviously quite happy with that, you know, I slept in my own bed last night, which is always good, uh, uh, and I thought, you know, uh, it, it's been really a, a, a great setting, uh, you know, last night in City Hall was really special, and then to come to a special place like this as, uh, uh, as players, you know, we really enjoy this. We saw your Leinster counterpart, Leo Cullen, bringing the trophy up, is that something that you guys want to be doing next year, one better? Yeah, look, I, I think, you know, if you ask that to every captain and every coach within this meeting, you know, they, they would say, yes, you know, uh, obviously we want to win that, you know, and, and uh, if, you, if, you, if you're not in it, you know, to win it, then, uh, you know, you're never going to win anything anyway. So, uh, uh, but we're not going to put ourselves under pressure this year and, and saying that we have to win it. Uh, you know, we honestly believe if we look after the process of, of getting to the final and, and getting to the playoffs, you know, then, uh, you know, we, we'll put ourselves in a position to be there at the end again. Uh, uh, you know, the semifinals and finals are, are 10 months away and, uh, I think if you look too much at that right now, you know you're gonna you're gonna forget about the right years and right nows, and, and, and we do believe that that is key, you know, to to be there at the end. Uh, and, and and you mentioned there the process of uh, consistency and, and winning week in week out. That's really the key, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's about you know keeping the squad fit and uh, and getting some players uh, you know playing. Uh, I think. Uh, any team within this, uh, this this tournament, you know, that hasn't got a, a really good squad, you know, is always going to struggle because you pick up so many injuries and uh, and you lose a lot of guys through international duty in the autumn internationals and the Six Nations and uh, uh, and you know you need a good squad and I think we're really fortunate that we do have a really good squad and uh, I think it's exciting times for us, you know, we, we want to like you said we want to go one better, um, uh, but like I said, there's a lot of rugby that has to be played before you get to that. One of the most exciting things about Ulster in recent seasons has been the emergence of some some really talented young players who've, who've now pulled on a green jersey for Ireland, the likes of Paddy Jackson and Luke Marshall. It, it must be great for you to see young players like that coming through. No, I'll tell you what, uh, it is absolutely brilliant. I think the academy, you know, a lot of credit has got to go to the Ulster Academy and uh, and, the, and the amount of work that the people has, has put into that. Uh, uh, there's some great talent that's coming through, you know, guys that... Uh, that, that basically made the Ulster debut last year, you know, and all of a sudden at the end of the year, you know, they put a, the green jersey over the head and play for, for Ireland. And I think that's really exciting times, you know, not only for, for Ulster rugby, but I think for Irish rugby as well, uh, that you've got the likes of a, a 20 and a 21 and a 22-year-old guy uh, that has already made his, his international debut and, and basically if he can stay fit, can play for Ireland for the next 10 years. Uh, and, and that's the type of things that you want to create. And I think at Ulster we're really, really fortunate that we have uh, a huge amount of young talent and that's coming through the ranks. And for you as a captain, is, is that easier to, to lead a team of you know, ambitious and hungry young players? Yeah, look, I think it's, it's all about balance. Uh, I think, uh, you know, you, you, uh, I know it's an old saying, but you can't buy experience, you know, and, and the only way you get experience is by playing. And, uh, and, and obviously we're fortunate that we have a really nice blend between uh, some experienced players and then some really young and exciting guys coming through. Uh, and, and that's what you want to create. You want to you create that balance w within a team. And, and like I said earlier, I think we're really lucky, lucky that we do have that balance. Thank you.